high school. Looks like they did like that Darius, but this time Nimbus Strike Esports are gonna counter it with the Maokai pick and a Sejuani, which I do like that offers great engage on the side of Nimbus Strike Esports. And we have a Jarvan who is probably most likely going to be going to the jungle to Mike Young. Let's see if he can be as much of a playmaker as he was last game on this aggressive pick. Blarg is hovering. Dra and he picks Draven. Oh my goodness. What do you feel? How do you feel about this pick? I mean, that's going. I mean, I don't really like Dra the Draven pick as much these days because with just the nerf to his passive. If you could even call it passive, because you you need kills early on. You need to get a lead, otherwise hey, just be over here. you have no passive. And with the kill, like if you die as Draven, you're going to lose that much more gold, as you, so to speak. I mean, I think Draven can be a good pick. Certain matchups where you want to be the lane boys, Draven works. But here, he's picking you blind, and not to mention against a Thresh. Thresh, if he hooks Draven and, Dra and Jarvan comes to the tank, and Draven dies early, he, he will not be able to scale that well in the late game. And speaking of which, he's not that much, he's not very strong in the late game unless he's super fed. So we'll have to see. Young and the Brahm is pick. Decided to strike esports. Caitlyn, I do like this pick into Draven because Caitlyn does outrange Draven. Because one of Draven's main um, problems is his range. Like, if if um, he gets close to you, he will be doing damage, but if you're able to outrange him, he won't. But actually, they do. They pick Draven or um, Lucian, so I'm. <laughs> I'm not really sure about this match. I don't know if you have anything to put in. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not well versed in this. I mean, Lucian, Lucian's passive with uh, the two shots, it's going to be pretty deadly on Draven, unless he can keep autoing and getting back the. Uh, but I don't like. Yeah, but now that I think of it, I don't think I like it because is also relatively short ranged and I think Draven just does more damage than Lucian to be honest so we'll have to see how this one goes and the Malzahar pick um, interesting on the side of um, uh, Timber Creek High School Cassiopeia picked up by Nimbus Strike Esports alright Oh, how do you feel about these team comps? Not really feeling the Braum pick because there's not really that much to block with his shield. I think he picked the Braum because Braum can be a big bully in the melee support versus melee support because he can just walk up, slow the Thresh and Draven. With Draven, they can stun him. So he's good into these melee matchups. Or even though Thresh is in melee, he... I'm, is he classified as melee? I'm not sure, but he doesn't have much range. I'm just going to say that. Not like a Karma or Janna or Lulu who can sit back and just bully the Braum. Oh, three minutes spectator delay, and we will be in the game soon. As you can see, Thresh took Ignite this time. No exhaust coming out on Timber Creek, even with the Draven pick bot lane. So that's going to be interesting. All right. Yeah, see, like, last game, Nimbus Strike Esports didn't have any risk, but here, Draven, you need, like, if Draven gets ahead, you really need Exhaust, because otherwise Draven will just do too much damage to your team. So I'm not sure about the Cassiopeia versus Malzahar match. I don't, I, I don't really know how that goes.
And so this time on Nimbus Strike Esports, they're going, they're looking to have engage in the top and the jungle. Those are the engage tools. Not uh, last game, it was Rakan, and clearly Rakan wasn't having any success with that. So they are going to put the engage back into the top and jungle while Timber Creek High School have st stuck to their success and picked an engaging playmaking support for Shakamaru as well as a playmaking jungle on Mike Young. Yeah, and, and if as you can see like on Nimbus Strike Esports, they have three really hard tanks and just looking at uh, Timber Creek's like team comp, all they really need to do is just build armor and just take down the Malzahar early in the fight because Timber Creek just doesn't have as much magic damage as they should have against a comp like Nimbus Strikes. But, but I also think that the Malzahar does force many members on Nimbus Strike Esports to build QSS because if they don't and they get ulted by Malzahar, it'll be very difficult to make it out. So we'll, we'll be getting into game in about 10 seconds. So I will be back. We are loading into game two of this series. It's a best of three, right? Right. Let's see if Nimbus Strike Esports will be able to find their momentum or if um, Timber Creek High School will continue their force from last game, take the 2-0. game here they're going to be spawning soon nexus turrets have 999 health yeah and for any viewers tuning in we have uh, timber creek high school on the blue side and nimbus strike esports on the tops or on the purple side Changed from purple to red. Hi. What happened? Standard early game. Timber Creek High School just making sure no invades coming in. And it looks like both junglers will be starting bot side, so we'll see if uh, any of them try going top early. Which is interesting because Sejuani can start Raptors, but I guess uh, Chub Kenobi wants to start blue side to make sure that he gets to his red buff when uh, Mike Young does, because he doesn't want this uh, Darius getting ahead, because that would be that would just be terrible for the strike. Yes, Nimbus Strike Esports picked a uh, very late game carry as like a tank. 
the top lane against a Darius, which is really early to mid game. It's extremely high harass. And they both have very good sustain, so we'll see how these trades go in the early game. I do think that Darius definitely has the pressure though. It looks like Mike Young actually avoids a second camp and goes straight for his blue buff and then to Grom. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure why, but he's low health now. He might be trying to go for a lane gank on the top lane, but I'm not so sure. We'll have to see where he decides to pass. We do have both junglers top as Darius is pushing in. Jarvan is looking for an invade though. Interesting Q in the bot lane, I don't know if you caught that. Brahms Q went right through. Yeah, lower the in game volume again. Cloud. I like, I don't know why. Maybe chat's troll, you never know. I mean, this guy seems pretty tilted, the guy who's telling me. He seems pretty tilted, he's like in all caps to me, it's really loud. But I digress. A lot of harass coming down to causing apocalypse. Alright. really see the late game stun from Braum coupled with the late game stun from Sajjani it's going to be really deadly on anyone that gets caught with it. And if you can see on Nimb not on Nimbus right, but okay what was that what was the name again you wrote down Skype? Okay. Um Timber Team Creek. Timber Creek, right. And a good flash by Maokai makes him get away but see if Chub Kenobi wants to do anything about it and it doesn't look like he will. Alright, and looks like both junglers are actually staying top. Um, not sure. Sejuani is up a whole level on Mike Young. Which is interesting. And both junglers are staying top side. I'm not sure what they plan on doing. Mike Young looks like he's just trying to pressure the turret. I'm not sure why. It seems a little risky. Cassiopeia was walking up, but she's going back mid. Oh no, sorry, she warded. She was warding because she knew Jarvan was on the top side. And it looks really like Mauk. Right. Yeah. And it looks like Maokai is really low health now. Or low mana, so I'm not sure how much he'll be able to. As far as CS goes, Oriana has picked up a 14 CS lead over Core. And we did see last game that Core was a was a, a, a liability on the on the Z. He did make a few plays, but he fell, fell behind during the laning phase, so Chubb Kenobi might want to pressure that. But so far, 